In the previous part, we created a 3D model of the bottle. In case you did not watch the first part, no worry, there's a link in the description. In this part, we are going to apply materials and after that we will do the rendering part. So let's move to the blender. Add a cube. Go to the object properties of the cube. And here you'll select view for display change, display as to Y. Go to the edit mode, then wireframe mode. Select all the vertices and move up. Set the snapping mode to vertex. Select all these vertices. Press G, Z and snap here. Similarly, select these vertices. Press G, Y. Move along Y axis, press Ctrl and snap here. Go to the solid mode, then object mode. I will rename this bottle. Select all these parts of the bottle. Select the cube in the end. It will be highlighted like this. Or you can press Ctrl and then click so it will be selected. Press Ctrl P to parent. I will change the size of this bottle to the real world. For this, I will import a human size mesh. So you can see that the size of the bottle is too big. I will select all these parts. Press G and scale down. Now press R X 90, then R Z 180. Add a plane. Now select this cube, wireframe cube, and move along the axis. Or you can simply change the snapping to face. Press G Z and then press Control. It will snap to the surface. I'll move this one up and make another new window here. I will rename this collection to bottle. This will be background. Now select this plane, move into this collection, add a camera, press Alt G and then Alt R. In this viewport, press 0 so it will show the camera view. I think this point is okay. Change this viewport to shader editor. Select the bottle. Add a new material. I will call this bottle of white. First, I will add a noise texture. Let me change the viewport shading to material preview. Let me change the viewport shading to material view. Before going to texture, you need to turn on an add on. Click add on. And search for node this turn on this add on i if i press ctrl shift i will see the output now decrease the size of this texture to 1.5 select this texture press ctrl t and change this to object add a mix node mix rgb set the value of the color i set this value this is the hex value copy this and paste this here Increase the, this S value to a little bit and decrease the V value 0 0.8 something. Anyway, there is black, it will show the first color. Anyway, there is white, it will show the second color. Duplicate this texture. Increase the value of the scale to something like 30. Add a color ramp node and slide this point a little bit something like this and this one. If you see we got little black marks and you can set the amount of these black marks then duplicate this one press shift d connect these points anywhere the marks there is black i will show this color and anywhere the color is white i will show the this color if you see we got little dark marks on the bottom. Now again duplicate this noise texture. Increase the value to something like 100. 
surface of this bottle is too smooth i want this to be little rough so for this i will set the value of noise texture scale to 100 add a displacement node and change the scale to 0 0.005 apply the same material to the remaining parts of the bottle for this i will select all the parts select this one in the end in which the material is applied press ctrl l and link materials the same material will be applied to the remaining parts of the bottle but for this part copy this and rename this as bottle orange i will delete all these just add a orange color now i would like to place the logo on the bottle for this i will add an image texture select the logo press ctrl t and uv is all uv is selected that's okay before going on we need to unwrap this bottle for this i will go to uv editing i will select this loop edge loop and this edge loop right click mark scene then select this loop mark scene select all press u unwrap i missed these points select these edges mark scene press a uv unwrap i will select this portion press ctrl plus to select these faces press a here and scale this up and move on the side for a little bit press a to select the remaining uv press s to scale down and make sure these are not on the text or you can say colored part now select the remaining meshes select all press s to scale down and move select the middle one select these face press ctrl plus now in shading mode if i show you you can see that wherever there is text on the image the color is white and the remaining part is black and the text is repeating i will set this to clip i go to uv editing turn on material preview select press g y and move press r180 m is on the upside and n is on the downside i will duplicate this mix shader i will use this as a mask anywhere the color is white i will use this color so it will be orange and anywhere the color is black i would like to use this color so on black the first one on white the orange now let's see so you can see that the area the white area has this logo select the background add a new material rename this to background for the background i got a texture from quixel i use this background you can also find this on the quixel website and it is named as i think so the rock cliff maybe you can search with the rock cliff name i will add an image texture and select this texture first i will select albedo duplicate by pressing shift d now this time i will load ambient occlusion i will select the normal map and in the end i'll select the roughness first add a math vector node connect these two change this to multiply and connect this roughness will be connected to roughness for normal map i will add a normal map node and connect this to normal i will select the viewport shading i will now turn on the cycles go to the render engine select cycles change the value to noise threshold to one and turn this off the box and also turn the strength to zero now add a light press r y 90 and change the position something like this press r y change the size to 2 meter and move closer to the object press ctrl b and select this view to render select the viewport select this background 
select this plane press ctrl t and connect these points i will separate the normal map colors and select the blue one let me show you the first what the blue one looks like i will use these black lines and but i want these black lines as highlighted white and the remaining background colored as black i will add color ramp node and move these points so now i can control the amount of these white lines by sliding this black point add a mix rgb node so anywhere the color is black it will show the first color so the first color will be also black in the second color i will select an orange color connect this to here and this one go to emission change the emission strength to 5 you can uh, set the amount of these white lines by sliding this you can also here change the location wherever you like press shift d also duplicate this but do not connect this connect this to here and this one to base color set the amount of the color you want to display by sliding this white i will also increase the normal map value to a little bit so this is our material setup for the background before rendering select this viewport press ctrl alt b now render image now our render is done now we will select the amount of d noise for this i will go to the compositing node turn on use nodes add a press shift a add a view node connect the image to this view node if you see here we got two images this one is denoised and this one is our noise image you can see that there is a lot of noise going on here so this is our denoised image and because we select the denoise option and this one is noise image just look at here now we are going to control the amount of between the noise and denoise on this bottle and uh, background add a mix node connect this image to here and this one here now if I show you in the viewport now see if now if the value is 1 it will show the denoised image it is denoised if I slide this down to 0 it will show the noise image you can control the amount of how much denoise or noise you want I will set this value to 0 0.4 maybe or 0 0.5 now duplicate this mix node again connect this point to here and this point to here set this to one so it will be denoised image again duplicate this now we will use a mask to separate the bottle from the background for this go to the view layer properties slide down and turn this on material now add a crypto mate here connect this point to here and you will if you don't see any image here just click on render active scene so you can see that there are two colors white and green we would like to select the green color i will click the plus sign and click this color now if i show you the mask you can see that the bottle is highlighted white 
while the remaining background is highlighted black. Connect this to here and this one to here. Connect this to here. So the anywhere the color is white, it is showing this image. And anywhere the color is black, it is showing this image. You can control the amount of denoise. I will set this to 1. Add a brightness contrast. Increase the brightness a little bit and increase the contrast. Now set, select the RGB curves. Increase the point here. Move this point something like this so it will brighter the brighter parts and darker the darker parts. And in the end, when you are satisfied with your image, save as RGB and save as image. After rendering is done, this is our final render. If you want to see more renders of this product, you can visit my Behance profile. I also put a link in the description. If you like my rendering, then hit the like button on my Behance profile. I hope you enjoy this video and you learned something from this video. In case you want to support this channel, you can support us on our Patreon page where you get all our project files. So thank you and keep doing 3D modeling.